for a wedding venue in Ireland really are spoilt for choice. Some go the traditional route and go for the hotel, others go for a historic house or a castle. Well now, in County Wicklow, a family farm with a panoramic view of the Garden County has been capturing the imagination of couples looking for something a little bit different. And Helen McInerney recently went to take a look. Just outside Tinnahili in County Wicklow is Ballybeg House. The O'Toole family host weddings and people come from all over the world to get married on their farm. Paddy O'Toole grew up here and says it was always a very sociable place. It was genuinely a place where everyone came. We had happy, we had good, happy days. We made a homemade wines and we uh, sort, of had, sort of had a bohemian type of lifestyle. We enjoyed ourselves. Paddy's mother bought the farm from the Fossett's Circus family in the 1940s. The walled garden and extensive stable yard are remnants of a once much larger estate, but the associated big house is long since demolished. My mother was an old romantic and, um, and she bought the place here because she fell in love with the place and um, uh, she came from Henley in Oxford and she persuaded her mother Bridget Catherine Ayers to come and buy the place for her. She left Ireland many years before that. She was a successful businesswoman and she uh, had a few bobs. She had a bit of property and all the rest of it. My mother fell in love with Valley Beg. She chased Fossett Circus around the country to persuade them to sell her Valley Beg and the lands, which they duly did in about 1947. And then, luckily enough, then she met my father who obviously was a very great romantic also, and he not alone fell in love with her, but I'm sure he fell in love with Barry Begg as well, and they lived happily ever after. When he married Mary, the local school teacher, Paddy went to live in her home place nearby, and when Paddy's mother died, the family decided to keep the family farm and try and make it viable. But the lack of any entitlements meant the family had to look at other options. Renting the house as a holiday let wasn't very successful, but interior designer Dominique Schefman, who had worked on the renovation of the farmhouse, suggested it would make an ideal wedding venue. We did a few years of only very small weddings using the house. So um, we had weddings up to 60 people, uh, buffet style, little intimate weddings. And suddenly we found ourselves building a marquee in the garden and one thing led to another and yeah, yeah. here we are and now it's a, an amazing place for why it's, there's, the dynamic is just fantastic. Developing Ballybeg as a wedding venue didn't come cheap. Paddy approached his local County Wicklow Rural Development Officer to see what help was available. The leader um, first came in contact with Paddy about eight to ten years ago and uh, Paddy was interested in diversifying and moving into the wedding market here at Ballybeg. And they have this beautiful house here in this beautiful landscape, so it, le it really did lend itself very well to that. So they moved forward and introduced a marquee and carried out some refurbishments in the main house. And Lida were able to help them with that initial step. And as, as things progressed, um, the business improved and the bookings started to improve. And we're delighted to be involved with this latest venture, which is the um, upgrading of the outhouses and the old traditional farm buildings into this new vibrant ceremony room. It very much fits the leader objective in that it's utilising all disused farm buildings and finding a new vibrant use for them. And um, as well as that, um, there's huge spin-off to the local area. For caterer Ingrid Furlong, the close proximity of Ballybeg to her home has made her working life much easier. We're about five minutes across the valley from here, so that makes a huge difference to us because we're only five minutes in the van going home late at night in comparison to travelling maybe an hour to venues. We are here nearly every week, all year round, and twice a week during the summertime. I employ 15 to 20 staff approximately for every wedding here, all of them local. Two of Paddy and Mary's sons, Patrick and Kean, work in the business. Patrick is here seven days a week and Keane is here whenever there's weddings and whenever there's something to do and he looks after the farming aspect of Ballybeg. When Ballybeg started doing weddings, many of the ceremonies were held outdoors. But unpredictable weather prompted Paddy to undertake a major restoration of the stables and the old courtyard. In our new ceremony room, which we call the Ayers Room, after my grandmother who was Bridget Catherine Ayers, uh, 
you know, uh, you can have a Catholic um, marriage ceremony with full mass and so on. Uh, you can have the HSE registrar coming and with a civil ceremony. You can have a non-HSE registrar and have a civil ceremony, legal, legal civil ceremony in any part of the grounds. Everybody, as long as they're in love, are welcome to get married here. So would Paddy urge other farm owners to diversify into the wedding market? If they have about two million, because it's cost me two million so far to get where I have, you want to have a very um, considerate and understanding bank, banker, and you also want to have a local uh, infrastructure uh, to be able to support all the services that a place like this as a wedding venue without accommodation requires. And indeed, you also want to have something that we have here in Wicklow for the last number of years, a very vibrant uh, Wicklow Rural Partnership.